Hey there Capricorn, welcome to your reading. Let's get into your messages for the week of 17th until the 24th of June. Okay, let's get started. Ace of Pentacles. What do we have? Two of Pentacles. Hmm. You're showing up strongly here. Okay, so there's something that feels like a new beginning here, a revival of your energy, something that feels solid. And this is like something is being taken and put into the heart of this tree. And this tree is you. So it's like as soon as this is put in, this leaves are flourishing. Wow. So there's something about your manifestations and new beginnings. And the two of pentacles is as above, so below. Feminine and masculine, yin and yang. There's that reflection, manifestation. Capricorn, you're a master manifester. Or there could be someone in your energy who is like this. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is a Leo Sagittarius Aries. Our Queen of Wands is also a revival of light. Hmm, the Queen of Wands is... Wow. There's something about the conjuring, like calling in something. Like there's something about like your magnetism that is calling in or the ability to call in something. At the bottom of the deck, we have three of cups, cause for celebration. So it could be that something you've been calling in is like in the form of a prayer, visualization, manifestation. You're being guided to keep up with that vibration. So it's like you've been keeping up the vibration for something. It could be to do with your finances, your well-being. All in all is that solar plexus, the confidence, the knowing. And if not, and I received this message just yesterday before going to bed and it's for you. That if not for the journey, if not for the choices you have made. Then you wouldn't be where you are today. Now you may be seen as this fiery person like this queen of wands. But then that is exactly what has brought you to this point. Yes, it's tiring. You feel exhausted, but you don't look like that. You actually look like someone who things come to. And that in itself has brought you to this point. Yeah, so there's something about your, the journey you have been on. And for as long as you've kept going with your truth, you could have been told stuff like, yeah, maybe you're doing it on your own or like, uh, it's like you've had to isolate yourself to do this. You've had to keep going. It's not like not asking for help. The help has come where it needed to. You just had to keep going with that fire. The fire within. Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. With the Ace of Pentacles. So there is something new. There is something that is cooking up here. On the... Oh. Okay. Okay now. Two queens, like the same queen of wands, like this is double confirmation.
a lot of yellow. Keep up your vibration, what you're doing, like keep it up. Now, I don't feel like I need to tell you this, but don't let anyone tell you to stop right now. If you feel like you're doing the right thing, let it be that you are surrounded by those that continue to elevate you. And if you don't have that, you continue to move in your silence. Because you're definitely looking towards the light. Now, this Ace of Pentacles feels like it's the light in the darkness. Right? So it feels like, to the outside, it may feel like, this is dark. This is isolated. But that is exactly what is needed for this to bloom. So it's like you've come to the peak of something and it's connected to the full moon in your sign. There is a peak of magnetism that you've come to. I see that cat and the lions as well. According to this deck, that is the goddess bust, Egyptian goddess bust. Eight of Wands, fast movement, feel like you've been protecting yourself, the divine has protected you from something as well, okay, um, yeah, the divine took a gem and hid it somewhere, so it's like you're a gem that has been taken to be hidden because of something that has been happening from someone around you you know this person this could be a feminine figure but this person has been on your case long before you were even aware this is not someone that looks like it this is someone you have given to you have shared with Now, the nine of wands is resilience. It's like you've had to hold up your resilience. You kept... This is one of the people that wanted you to lower your defenses, lower your barrier. Okay? And this is not about building walls. This is a different kind. It's not even boundaries that I'm getting. It's just more of like a mojo. A fierce focus. Two of Pentacles, the star, and there is your healing, your unblocking, everything is manifesting, that star is eight, so it keeps going, it keeps going round and round, the alignment with the higher self. You could be doing a lot of core work here, a lot to do with the abdominal area, diet. But whatever you are doing, keep it up. It's no easy work. Three of Wands. Now, is this is what you're doing that is helping you to, to stand, to stay rooted. In the knowing that what is for you is coming in. Your ships are coming in. Because you've put in so much work in the below. Now there seems to be something that has tried to cause, the, uh, like cause a blockage here. See that? And... Yeah, the divine is, is working with you. So there's even nothing to worry about. That's why I keep getting like... You, you've been on that journey. Like you wouldn't have been where you are today if not for the journey. So it's like... The work you have been putting in the below has been protecting you. From stuff that has been sent by someone on the outside... Like, this person has targeted you long before you even started to bear fruit. They knew your light.
Yeah. And this is not just one person. It's like it's a lot of people. It's, it's just the energy. Yeah. There's an energy there to do with confidence. So this may be a soccer boss incubus kind of energy so what they do is they suck out confidence that is how they they don't even thrive because they are all about complaining finances so this kind of people complain about finances first of all nothing is ever good enough there's always something to again complain about so it's a draining kind of energy that was around you So you knew that there was something that you had to keep releasing. And this is why you were guided on this journey. And the divine is saying to keep waiting because it's coming in. Like that above, the reflection of the below on the above is coming in. It's like a lot of work that you've had to put in your below and you're putting in has been filling up a lot of spaces. Wow, Capricorn. Back to those spaces. And now you've come to the peak of that. Wow. Two of Pentacles. Capricorn, this is like pure alignment. As above, so below. Keep going. Keep going is what I'm getting. Queen of Wands. Three of Pentacles. So you're collaborating now. Co-creating with spirit, with your guides. Just knowing that you're not alone. And you keep doing that. You keep working. Whatever work you're doing and you just know that, yes, I need to do this right now. You are right on track. A lot to do with unblocking here. You're having a major unblocking in your finances, in your well-being. Now, the high priestess in the inverted position is showing, I kept getting that energy of a conjurer at the beginning. This person is the high priestess. In the below they've done a lot of damage too much right from your childhood it's a part like they're a part of a group that may have targeted you perhaps it's connected to past lifetimes but yeah, this person has targeted you even in this lifetime. And this is why there's something to do with, yeah, there's something to do with a target. So this person targeted you or this energy is more like the energies. And it's regarding something about your gifts. So you see, you have this gift even in the below. But then they've been hunting you. They've been hunting down your gifts like from coming to the above because they were taken out of it. That is where that blockage was coming in. They've been taken out of it from the root chakra. So this is most likely a family figure. This is someone you know. Or family figures. Friend figures. But this energy has been there. And if you see anyone complaining first about finances, run. It doesn't mean that there are no issues, okay? But this one's, you just know. You just know their energy once you, you see them. 
they usually look very cool on the outside like trendy but it's like as you're heightening your vibration they can't even come close to you so you literally have won a battle against some of the what I would call the heaviest energies when it comes to the underground you're winning a battle like one wow like one person against many and this is how you know that the divine has always been with you so you're having a revival and a major unblocking in your finances your career uh, well yeah but especially your source of energy your life force you've always been a master manifester so everything that came at the beginning is also connected to you things have come to you when you've called them in but they try to take that away from you It's like you could be remembering as well now of how really you have always been a master manifester. Like what happened? Because they tried, they tried you, they tried to make you to forget. They didn't even want you to forget. It's like by taking those bits of you, you would naturally forget. And now you are remembering. Five of Wands and the Tower. Look at that. The Tower is crashing down. They're battling themselves. Now this also is talking about, could be to do with the full moon in your sign. So be aware of like stuff that could bring up conflicts in the energies or in your energies. Mm, I feel like it's all, this is what it's saying, like everything to do with conflict is coming down. And you are now in your expansive new beginnings. Angels and ancestors. See, uh, see beyond the current situation. Moon, take note of intuitive messages. The sun and the moon. Okay. Um, just a second while I look for moon use your intuition practice discernment see through illusions and blockages the moon is strongly associated with the divine feminine and the energy of receiving if the Sun is God the moon is goddess and so she offers a powerful energy of polarity and balance she has a cyclic energy and is therefore strongly connected to emotions which often come and go in waves and to somewhat interesting behavior so when the moon appears in a reading, you are often being told that not everything is as it seems. The moon has a dark side, just dark, not negative, and can show you what you've been kept in the dark about. Lunar energies are surrounding your life, allowing you to understand what is standing in your way. Not everything is as it seems, and you are being guided to use your discernment. When the moon appears, intuitive or psychic urges are increased. So, take note of any feelings arising at this time. They are messages from your soul and angels. The moon shines her light on all that has been kept in the dark. So ask yourself if you are avoiding, avoiding anything or refusing to deal with something of importance. If so, it could be holding you in the shadows when your destiny is to be in the light. If this card appears when you feel someone isn't being completely real with you, know that their intentions will be revealed to you. The moon has no secrets. She reveals all. Sia is very much similar to the moon mm. 
Okay. See, look beyond the current situation. Raise your vibration and focus on love. Clairvoyance isn't just about predicting the future. It's, it's about being able to see clearly enough to create your best future. You are being encouraged by your ancestral guides and angels to see beyond what you think is happening now. Angels of light are upgrading your energy so that your experiences can be more enjoyable. You are moving towards something extremely uplifting and lightening. So, stay calm and keep your eyes on the prize. Wow, Capricorn. I'll come back with more videos during the week and do take care. Bye-bye.